Astel and Kern was one of the greatest company when it comes to audio player and still until now even though there's a lot of competitors a true fans of Astel and Kern will always appreciate what they have been doing and yeah in a, some kind of sense they're kind of different they're still not using uh, Android a uh, free Android OS for their uh, user experience or user interface but let me tell you about this current latest one of their latest product from Astel and Kern with that is Astel and Kern Khan Alpha Max and it costs around a thousand and three hundred dollars so for me personally this is already into a high-end kilo buck audio player territory so first of all thank you for Intium Indonesia for providing me with this review unit and I will break down this review from the build UI user experience and then sound and feature now let's take a look at the build quality of this Astel and Kern Alpha Can Max. It's quite a long name. Maybe they will release Astel and Kern Alpha Can Max Ultra in the future. I don't know, but personally, I don't really like the sense of naming. And let's take a look at this huge premium brick. <laughs> I don't know why, but it feels like a brick in my hand. It's very heavy. It's very chunky, and it does feels really premium. I mean, just take a look at these sharp edges it really looks cool and looks aesthetic but in a sense it doesn't feels really practical because if you are not using a case i think this is made of uh, aluminium and if you're not using cases i will believe that it is it will be easy to dent at these edges here and also when i'm using them in my hand there are some sharp edges that is poking through my skin like when I'm using them like this and yeah for me the sh it is not meant to be held by one hand only take a look at this because of how thick and chunky they are I personally I have small hands I have small Asian hands and uh, but I don't comfortably I cannot comfortably using them using only one hand like this there are sometimes I need to reach out and it, because of the mainly the thing is not because of their size but because of their weight I just cannot uh, use them easily using my hand like this I need to use them using my two hands because it will yeah because just how heavy they are and let's take a look at this uh, audio player first of all yes you get this screen on the front and on the top side you get three connectors three jacks in different uh, different sizes here 3.5 millimeter single ended and two a uh, balance jack you get the 4.4 and also the 2.5 and you get this s can logo also you get this turn on off button around this part and then on the left side you get only three buttons the middle one is to play and stop the upper one is for like a uh, changing music to the previous music and then the next music but you can also change uh, just scroll to the time of the music using this up and down button and then on the back side you only get this calm max grief right here and you get this Estelle and Kern logo again and on the right side you get this color colorful volume button you can see that it will change depends on the quality of the file let me show you this the lowest one I believe this is the 16 bit mode and let me check one of my song that is 24 bit i believe yes this one is 24 bit and it's already changed to green so yeah it will it depends on the quality of the of the music that you play and on the lower side on the bottom side you got this sd card and also usb c charging for the UI, they are using heavily modded Android, so it will be quite hard for you to install and easily using third-party apps here, but I will show you later. You can actually do that. But here's the main screen of this audio player. And from this, yeah, it just have the basic uh, volume and also any other control. Yeah, just like this, you get post play button and also shuffle and loop option but you get this swipe control let's swipe from the top first from top you get some uh, fast control like the AK connect EQ crossfit replay gain settings Wi-Fi Bluetooth it's all on the top side 
and also the left side is the most option here you get some uh, ways to browse your music here from the songs album artist it's just a basic thing for me but the unique thing about this is the mqs which stand for master quality sound that you could browse your uh, higher uh, file here if i'm not mistaken it is starting from the 24 bits and above so 16 you will not find 32 uh 320 kbps here for the usual mp3 or the 16 bits audio here and then you get the services that is used for the third party apps but please remember that this third party apps doesn't really it has its own ui it's so it's not uh it's not really the same with the one that i'm using in my phone i will show you later and then just swipe from the right side to show the current playlist and the thing that i really like about this is from the lower side you can swipe up and then you find this play history so it doesn't matter from which folder that you have uh, played but it will so it will show you your play history i don't know why but for the user experience it is somehow a feature that i couldn't find in anywhere else but it's really useful here let me show you how to navigate to the third party apps first of all from this main screen you go through here and yes services and then just pick the one you want to browse for example this title and then you have i have already logged in into my title account and then from here you will like losing all buttons so maybe you're uh, you want to know how to get back to the main screen it's really easy just swipe from bottom to up like here and then you go back to the main screen it's fairly easy to use and it doesn't matter spotify apple music or cubus it's all the same just like that now let's talk about the most important thing that is the user experience and also how it sounds let me tell you because i have tried to use them daily i could tell you that this uh, audio player is too big definitely for my pocket so it's not pocket friendly i'm only using them maybe in cafe or maybe when i'm use uh, when i'm working or yeah just when i'm sitting like that but when i'm using them while walking it's pretty annoying because how not because how uh, how they how the size of this uh, audio player but because of the chunkiness it's more because of it's really chunky and heavy that heaviness is a problem if you're trying to use them in your pocket but other than that i think that it is uh, quite good i mean the volume button the scroll wheel is really nice and clicky and it's pretty accurate and also it has pretty much average battery life uh, comparing it to my phone when i'm using them for uh, straight for of maybe eight hours maybe eight to ten hours is there standby time when i'm playing music but when i'm not playing music it's pretty much safe that uh, i have not charged them for three days and maybe only using them around two to four hours daily and it still has uh, quite enough battery so yeah battery life is not amazing it's just the usual comparing to the others uh, audio player that i have tried but one thing that is kind of annoying for me is also this feature the feature it has because of uh alster aslan can can is always boosting their capabilities for more power for more voltage you get some app choice here from the low and then mid high and super yeah the thing is when i'm trying to use them in always in super mode they got warm kind of quickly yes i know uh, mostly of my collection is uh, i am that i actually don't need to use this super amp but nevertheless i want to try what happened if i using them regularly and apparently this thing gets quite hot uh so but if you're using maybe to low or mid uh amp section like i always do actually for my daily needs it has no problem when i'm using them in super mode and trying to use my planar headphone there it will get uh, quite hot in sometimes the sound of this and kern aka khan alpha max i could simply describe them as somehow a neutral warm sounding source because i have 
compare them with all of my sources here and I do feel that there's a little bit of base boost in the lower section but and also I find that there's a little bit of smoothing around the edge of the treble that makes the treble sounds inoffensive but not as sparkly as it should for me okay starting from the bass I do feel that even though I said there's a little bit of bass boost compared to uh, what I consider to be kind of neutral but the bass boost is not a thick bass but rather giving a solid punch that is very layered so I really think that this kind of bass is somehow kind of addicting for me because it kind of feels uh, very goodly separated but giving a very solid punch at least when I'm comparing them with my DX160 I know it's far different in price point but that's the thing that I find for me it has better solid punch that goes deeper into the sub bass but not exactly uh, in a very thick way so I really like the bass presentation of this uh, AK Can Alpha Max. I'm going to the mid range. It's also uh, I actually I think that the sound is kind of neutral again, but a little bit warm because it's not as dry as a uh, forward as uh, dry sounding as I could find like the in the VOK A3, but it's not as smooth as the Ovidius B1 either. It's somehow a little more raw sounding. But I still find that the sound of this is quite neutral and still no matter what kind of IMs or headphones I tried using them, I don't find anything that is out of uh, control. It's still uh, really in a good way. It's very uh, transparent sounding mid-range. Every vocal sounds really clear and I don't find any sharp edges. So it's, it's somehow a forgiving uh, experience for me. It doesn't really show a bad, it doesn't really reveal bad uh, recordings uh, but it shows if the if the recording is really clear the vocal will play in a really really beautiful way and the treble like I said before I do find that the treble is not really uh, smoothened it's not really a, a dark sounding audio player I mean I have tried the VO M11 ESS uh, plus that sound and I have compared them for me the, that VOM 11 sounds more compressed in treble it's not ex, uh, expanded it's not as open as this uh, audio player but still it is not as uh, forward sounding like in the VOK A3 or this uh, DX160 but that being said even though I said there's a little bit of smoothing I do find that the detail is still uh, retained in this uh, audio player so yeah it's in terms of Tonality, I have no problem with that. Maybe it will be more suitable for those who are searching for somehow a little bit of neutral, warm sounding audio player. It's not overly warm as far as i concerned, but it's not overly neutral to the point it sounds uh, dry and flat. I mean in a bad way, flat, you mean in a boring way. No, it still gives you this dynamics and really good presentation of overall tonal balance. And I do like that the technicality is somehow, it's not really segregated at first. Because uh, some uh, some technical that you will always point out when you hear a wow sounding audio player is mostly about the sound stage. It's about how expensive some uh, audio player could sound like. But actually, I don't really get that in here. But in, in turns, when I compare them with the others, I do find that it has more a realistic three-dimensional rendering of sound stage. So it's not overly wide, but it's a realistic 3D sounding that is still somehow quite large for me. For me, even the DX160 still sounds a little bit wider, but not as good uh, in depth positioning compared to the uh, this Akakan Alpha Max. Especially when I'm hearing some orchestral, maybe from uh, Hans Zimmer or Two Steps From Hell, I do feel that the 3Dness is more uh, complicated in layering. I do feel there's more layers going on with the sound, and I could uh, imagine where the sound is coming from is better portrayed in this Aka Khan Alpha Max. But it is somehow more wide than the DX160. Even now, I do feel that the DX160 is. Are really large in terms of sound sets even comparing to the higher end models but other than that for me this Akakan Alpha Max is simply just a league ahead of this DX160 and also the thing that I'd like to sh uh, share again with this 
akhir kan Alpha Max is just like the other Axel and Kern audio player. For me, they are always really really clean when I when whatever uh, items I throw at them, I try at them. It sounds really really clean in the background and yeah, maybe that's one kind of the thing that I really addicted to the Aslan Kern audio players. Even when I have uh, tried comparing some audio players on uh, 700 price point, like the AKSR 25 Mark II compared to the almighty M11 Plus ESS, I do feel that the Aslan Kern SR25 Mark II is the more uh, is a more cleaner one and just like the other Aslan Kern for me they are always stand out and somehow giving a very clean presentation especially when I when you are using IMs actually when I have tried some hard to drive headphones even though it is boosting that 15 VRMS for me it's yeah it's still recommended at this price point if you want a more proper setup just go buy a desktop setup it's just this Akakan Alpha Max is just a simply a good partner for you to carry, for you to try a lot of things. But I do think that this is not maximal enough. This is not uh, giving more a uh, good. It's not unleashing the full potential of some of the hard-driven headphones. So I think that's all I could say about this Akakan Alpha Max. So what do I think about it? Is it worth it? Yes, it will be worth it it if you are that uh, concerned in how much your uh, simple audio player sounds like and the power that you could give so it's more like an all-in-one presentation rather than a, rather than a fully desktop experience it's still better in full desktop experience for me but this one do it all it has that power that you at least could drive a lot of headphones with that especially in the super mode in its amp section and all of my ims i have tried at this akakan alpha max is really clean that's the first thing i notice about it it's how clean they are and then the more i i listen to it i find that it has an almost no flaw in the presentation of the tonal balance and also the three-dimensional thing it's really uh, a good additional to this one maybe the uh, the thing that i could critique the most is mostly about how they feel in my hand because they are really chunky and heavy so i'm not sure that a lot of people will like this kind of feeling in your hand and that there's you can find still this these sharp edges that somehow always annoys me and also about that they are use, not using fully open android so you don't get google play here you must download the app the app uh, file first and then you go to here and then you go install it themselves and it's not as fluid in the ui not definitely not even as fluid as the high b r5 gen 2 or maybe the uh, vo m11 plus ess but yeah it's all about the music here so i think that's all i could say about this uh audio player mostly i could re definitely recommend if you know aslan kern you have tried aslan kern and you want aslan kern that is powerful because a lot of their uh, audio player actually don't give a lot of power but this this one does that greatly okay i think that's all i could say about this uh, audio player i hope you enjoy my review and if you have any question please write down in the comments below and see you next time bye bye